Hi, thanks for watching and welcome to another food review. Right, in this one, I'm gonna be having a crack at these. So we've got the corn takeaway spicy buffalo fillets. Spicy vegan fillet burgers coated in a hot signature crunch. Now, I have done the, what were they called? Just the crunchy, what were they called? I think I might have it written down there. So corn crunchy fillet burger, that's what they were called. I have done them, that was one of the first videos I done. Um, and that was pretty good. So I'd imagine this is literally the same thing, but with a bit of spice on it. So it's gonna probably score a similar score, but we'll see. So what we got on here, so like it hot, you will love this one. This spicy vegan buffalo fillet burger with its crunchy coat and will definitely hit the spot. High in protein, low in saturated fat, high in fiber. Um, right, allergens are wheat and that is it. Uh, traffic lights, we have got some traffic lights. But until I get my new camera, I can't really show you them like that because it just, it's not got autofocus on that, on this front facing camera. So anyway, um, so we've got two greens and two ambers. The first amber, and this is per fillet, which is 92 grams, I think that says. Yeah, 92 grams. Um, and of that 92 grams, we've got fat at 7.5 grams, that's an amber. Saturates 0 0.8 of one gram, that is a green. Sugar 0 0.1 of one gram, that is a green. And then the, the remaining amber is salt at 1.1 grams of the 92. Now the average calories um, for the breaker fast food of ooze so far for 100 grams is 216 and this is 192 grams but uh, sorry 192 calories per 100 grams so it's a little bit under the average uh price right now the price i don't know what i paid for this because i bought this a few weeks ago but when i checked online i saw that sainsbury's are selling these at the minute for one pound fifty and it's got the bit slashed out which is the usual price 175 now normally these are two pound fifty in other supermarkets so whether sainsbury's are just I don't know, got a deal on with corn or I don't know, but it looks like it's 175 the usual price, which is really good for this because it's 200 grams, it's under the penny a gram. So that's really good value. Uh, right, now, how am I going to cook it? Oven cooked for 22 to 24 minutes. Right, so if you say 24, eight minutes preheat, 32 minutes, that'll cost me 27 pence in my oven to cook that. Right guys, I think it's time to fire up the oven and get some food on the plate. Okay guys, here it is. Here is the corn takeaway spicy buffalo fillet burger or sandwich, whatever you want to call it. What do you call it? Right, I've got another bit here with nothing on it. So we can get the, the true taste of it. There's the burger. Or the chicken sandwich, whatever you want to call it. The meat-free chicken sandwich. So in there we've got 
Now this is a, one of them cheese rolls where cheese is actually baked into the bread. Um, we've got lettuce, loads of red onion, mayo, and then we've got a fair bit of extra mature cheddar cheese melted on the top. Oh, <laughs> lovely old jubbly boo boo. Right, here we go. Let's get stuck into this. I'm hungry. Here we go. Now, initial taste, you don't taste much different from the, what was it called, the original one, the corn crunchy fillet burger, which is basically the same as this, without the spicy flavouring on. It is good though. It's got the crunch, so they, they got crunch in the title. And there is a bit of crunch to it. Right, bounce back ability. It's a little bit squishy. I don't think I did, the, I weren't doing the bounce back ability test when I first done the first one, I don't think. But it's got that, that stringy look that chicken has, chicken breast has. Oh, I can't wait to get a better camera. It's doing my head in. I can't really properly focus in on it and get right into the detail of it. It's coming though. I will get a better camera soon. So you can like have a rock, proper look at it. Um, it does look like chicken, it's got that texture, like look wise, not necessarily taste wise or feel, because it's a bit softer than chicken. It tastes, it does taste nice though, it has got a chickeny taste, and there is a little bit of kick to it. Yeah, it's pretty much very similar to the uh, to the other one, just with a little bit of a kick. I don't mind either or, to be honest. Hmm. Right. Let's wrap it up. Well, for £1.75, I mean, that's well worth the money. Two of them. Now, I'm going to give it exactly the same score as I give the, the crunchy, or the unspicy one. Let's call it, exa it's exactly the same thing. You just ain't got that buffalo, what is it called? Buffalo spice, spicy buffalo fillet. So that spicy buffalo flavour and it just ain't got that on it um but I, I don't mind that because when you got the flat the rest of the flavors coming through from the burger your onions your whatever sauce you put in there if you got tomatoes in you got so many different flavors coming through i aren't that bothered too much about the the flavor of the the burger because what you're looking for for that, especially with a meat-free product, is the texture. You're looking for texture. Um, with If you can get a little bit of, like, if it's trying to mimic chicken, if you can get a bit of a chicken flavour going on, that's brilliant, which you do get with the corn ones. Um, you do get a little bit of chicken flavour and coming through. So these are very good products, really. And I give the original one a nine. So this is getting a nine. 
and that will definitely put it up on the scoreboard. Um, I'm not sure what is at the top. This could even be at the top. I really don't know what is at the top of the chicken, meat-free chicken scoreboard. I think that could well be. If not, it's right up there anyway. So there we go, guys. That is, um, yeah, that is a good product, especially for £1.75 at Sainsbury's. Um, for nurse, one fifty at the moment, one seventy five usual price, but elsewhere it's normally around about two pound fifty. So yeah, right guys. Later tonight, I'm gonna be filming another custard creations video, and in this one, I'm gonna. I'm not sure if this one's gonna work. This is the first one. What have I done? I've done the donut. I knew that would work. Last week's was the chocolate mini rolls. I knew it would taste good. I thought it might end up being a bit of a mess, but I knew it would taste good. So I knew that one was going to work. And the first one was, that's right, triple chocolate cookies, which it was, it was never going to be a complete utter disaster. It was probably going to work and it did. But this is the first one where I'm, I really don't know whether this is going to work or not. And what I'm going to have a crack at tonight is flapjacks and custard. <laughs> flapjacks and custard. I don't, I don't know if anyone's, if that's a thing. I mean, it might be a thing. People might have that with custard. I don't know. I've never had it with custard. I've never seen it with custard. Will it work? I don't know, I'm going to find out later. So yeah, that's my uh, video later tonight. And, but the video I'm looking forward to the most this week, and it's going to be later part of the week, is I'm going to do a something sweet review. And it's going to be a frozen Tesco's uh, mixed berry and lemon tart or pie. I can't remember what it is. It could be a top. It's about that deep. It's, it's, you could call it a pie or a tart. I think they call it a tart, I think. So it's the Tesco's Mixed Berry and Lemon Tart. And I thought, oh, I picked that up a couple of three weeks ago. I thought, oh, I'll have that. Put that in the freezer. I'll definitely review that soon. And I'm going to review it this week. And I was going to have custard with it because obviously you've got to heat it up in the, in the oven. And I thought, I'll have custard with that. And then when I was out today, I thought, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to have some ice cream with it. Because I love hot and cold at the same time. But it's, it's, you can't beat like a real hot chocolate brownie or something. Or a water like between warm and hot chocolate brownie. And then you get some nice ice cream on it. Oh, it's lovely. So I thought, oh, do you know what? I think I'll have it with ice cream. So I went down in our ice cream oil and they had, I think they're Kelly's, is it Kelly's ice cream? And they had some clotted cream ice cream. Ho ho! So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. I think that is that is the one review this week I'm looking forward to most. But that one will be going out later part of this week. So yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Right. So there we are, that is another Break of Fast Food Review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me and old Boo Boo the Custard Kid over there again soon on another review. Take care, guys. Oh, oh. here we go, Boo Boo. Course, this is lovely old jubbly, this. Mm.